Hello guys, welcome you all in a new video and this video is totally dedicated for the consumers who's using Samsung Android smartphone of any series like A series, F series, J series, M series. If you're really using any series of Samsung Android smartphone and if your Samsung Android smartphone is logged due to forgotten pin pattern and password lock, then after when you will hard reset of your handset uh, Samsung Android smartphone, then after hard reset when you will switch on your phone, you will get a such type of display. So here you can see you will get a welcome pop-up, language option, start option, emergency call option. Okay. Then after hard reset, when we will uh, go through the process and uh, tap on this start option and uh, go through the final step of the smartphone. Let's check what happened here. Go to the agree, more and agree. One more thing I'd like to tell you, my friend, your phone should be connected to the Wi-Fi network. So I am going to connect my phone to the Wi-Fi network. It's mandatory to final setup if you're a Samsung Android smartphone. It will take some time so you will have to wait until your phone is connected to the Wi-Fi network here. So here you can see after uh, the hard reset of the smartphone, you will come on this page here again. It will ask your pin pattern and password lock. It means after factory data reset or hard reset, your phone is not unlocked. But you can see here you will get an another option that will show here. Use my Google account instead and you have to tap on this option. So when you will tap on this option, you will switch to a new page and this page you can see here. This is the Google space that is verify your account. It means here you will have to feed your Gmail account and the password. If you have remember your Gmail account and password, you can easily feed your Gmail ID and go to the next process. But you can see here if you don't have your Gmail ID and password, you are not getting any skip option on this page. So you can't bypass this page. Here in this method, I will tell you how, how you can bypass this page. I mean to say how you can bypass your FRP lock of your Samsung Android smartphone. So with the help of some settings, you can also get a skip option on this page by which you can easily bypass your FRP lock. Okay. First of all, uh, you will have to reach to the previous page and come to the starting page here like this. Now you can see here, firstly you will have to change your language. So you can uh, change your language from English India to English US because you, you know that uh, the Samsung is uh, from US. Then after you will have to tap on this start option. Now here you will have to tap on this agree to all and go to the agree to this page. Now you will switch to the next page and go to the agree. Okay. Now after that in this page where the Wi-Fi network will show, you will have to tap on this add network option. And you will have to go to the back option here. Right now you will have to firstly uh, switch on your talkback option. And to switch on your talkback option, you will have to press the power button and the volume up button. Press hold and release. Release. Now after that you have to tap on this use option here. Now again you will have to repeat the process. Now in this page you have to draw a opposite L like this. 
and you will have to double tap on this while using the app. Now after that you will have to double tap on this use voice command. Open Google Assistant. Open setting. So you can see here the setting option has been appeared on your phone display and you can see here the lock pop-up is showing at the top of the smartphone. So you can see here this phone is locked due to FRP lock. So some uh, users comments that your phone is not locked. So you can see here the phone is locked. After that a manual setting option will appear on your phone display. You will have to switch off your talkback option and for this you will have to repeat the process Press the power button and the volume up button, press hold and release. Okay, now you can see here the talkback option has been switched off. Now in this space, you will have to change some settings to bypass your FRP lock. So firstly, you will have to scroll down and come to the option that will show here lock screen option. When you will switch on your, uh, when you will come to this page that is lock screen page, here you will get a lot of options and the first option will show here a screen lock type that will show here swipe. But you know that your phone is locked due to pin pattern or pad, uh, pin pattern or password. So it's showing here swipe. So don't worry at all. You will have to simply tap on this, this option, but you can see here this screen lock type option is not working. So don't worry here. Simply you will have to scroll down and come to the option that will show here face recognition recognition option when you will tap on this face recognition option you will get a continue pop-up here when you will tap on this you can see here it's not working again but don't worry at all you will have to tap on this continue option six time one two three four five and six okay now after that you have to go to the back option now you will get an another option that will show here fingerprint you can see here simply you have to tap on this fingerprint option now after that when we will come on this space uh, fingerprint space you will get again a continue pop-up you have to tap on this continue option six time again one two three four five and six when the six times complete simply you have to go to the back option and you have to come to the option that will show here about lock screen option when you will come on this lock screen option you have to tap on this open source license now here you will get a lot of text on your phone display but you have to copy this url you can see here you are getting here url simply you have to copy this url okay copy this url and go to the back option here again you have to go to the back and back now after that simply you will have to exit from this setting page and come to this phone display and now after that you have to reach to the starting page here now after that again you will have to start the process from this page agree to all and go to the agree here agree now in this page you have to tap on this add network option and here you have to come on this setting page now in this page firstly you will when you will come on this page firstly you will have to scroll down and come to the option that will show here reset to default setting you have to tap on this one and firstly you will have to reset keyboard setting and reset from here again you have to tap on this erase personalized production and erase from this page now go to the back option and scroll up you have to come on this page you will have to tap on this language and types when you will tap on this uh, language and types option you have to go to the option that will show here manage input language now in this page again you will have to switch off this english india and switch on this english us okay so switch on this one <coughs> and switch off this english india Now go to the back option again, go to the back. Now after that you will get an option that will show here text shortcut. Simply you have to tap on this text shortcut option and you have to tap on this add option. When you will tap on this add option, firstly you will have to paste that URL what you had copied. Now after that in this you have to type a special USSD code that is a star has zero star has and then after you have to tap on this add option now all the things has been done in this space 
one more thing you will have to do that you will have to come on this layout option and you have to tap on this button and symbols and from here you have to change from default to alternative and apply from here and go to the ok now after that you will redirect to the previous page and go to the back option here and after that you have to come to the starting page now from here you will have to start this option agree to all go to the agree from this page here you will have to uncheck two options that will show here nearby devices you will have to uncheck and switch off this option go to the agree now after that all the things has been done simply you will have to tap on this next option After that here you have to choose the don't copy option. Now you can see here you are getting a skip option on this page where the gmail id and the password was asking. You are simply with the help of some setting changes you can also get a skip option on this page. But without because without uh, getting a skip option you can't bypass this page okay. So it means now your phone has been completely FRP bypassed. Simply you have to tap on this skip option and skip from this page. Go to the more and accept. So now here you, if you want to use new pin pattern or password lock, you can use from here. Simply you I am going to use a new pattern lock. And you can also choose as your convenient. Go to the OK. next skip from here you will get a pop-up that you're all set up simply you have to tap on this finish option okay agree select your language as per your convenient your age criteria now it's a simple your phone setup process you can easily uh, set up your phone because your phone is now ready to go to the final setup <coughs> so my friend you can see here the samsung android smartphone has been completely unlocked and frp bypassed with the help of some setting changes so this video was totally dedicated for the frp bypass of the samsung android smartphone of any series so if you are watching this video then apply this method to your logged smartphone or frp logged smartphone it will definitely work to bypass your frp lock so if your phone is unlocked with the help of this method then do the like this video and subscribe to the channel and if you have stuck anywhere in this method make sure you will have to comment in my comment box our team will definitely respond on your comment to resolve your issues thank you so much